Hi everyone, um, today it's a quick video, um, sorry about the handheld uh, phone, it's a quick video uh, that I decided to do about um, the file of facts that I took on my um, holiday recently, just a few days ago. Uh, it is a slimline Lockwood and, oh, gorgeous color, Lockwoods are one of my favorite file of facts models. Planning on expanding my collection, I already have the Aqua in personal and I have this one for now, not that much. <laughs> so um, I decided to take this as a planner slash wallet slash document holder. Uh, so I just incorporate everything. It's slimline. And I decided to do that because I wanted to take uh, a smaller bag than I usually do, uh, just because we went to a city where we knew we would do a lot of walking and I wanted to um, walk around with as, um, um, as little weight as I could. So I downsized everything. So basically I took this uh, in the bag, my wallet, uh, you know, the hotel card, uh, painkillers, things like that. So it was very lightweight. And basically um, the difference was that if I took the planner with me and my wallet, so let's put them all together. You can see the difference in size, how compact that was. So I downsized, instead of carrying these two, I just carried that. So I thought that instead of showing it set up all clean and beautiful before I left for the holiday, I decided to do it um, after, just to show it uh, after its use, uh, all <laughs> dirty and um, rugged after the trip. Uh, I didn't baby it at all, it got scratched, it got, although I don't see anything, I'm just assuming it got scratched because I didn't baby it at all. So, basically... My travel ID, my health insurance card for Europe, and these were my two credit card, uh, my two debit cards from the bank. That was it. That was all the cards that I had here because I can travel with the citizen card. Don't need a passport. So what I did here is that I said I decide and track how much money I spend every day. So that was. June 16, June 17, June 18, uh, then I gave up. I tried to be very organized before we go on a trip, but during, um, I mean, I'm very optimistic that I'll document everything we do and everywhere we go. No, you were just halfway through, you're just so tired and you just don't have time. You'd rather just relax than write down everything you do or track every spending. And then some of them you forget during the day, so you just give up. Uh, this was... Um, just my week to view. So again, I, I had the flight, I decided to track everywhere we were going every day. And this, I stopped here and this I just filled in after we came back, just remembering what we did every day. But again, this was empty when we came back because I didn't actually um, document anything. This is my packing list that I took from my current file of facts. So it's going to go back. So this was uh, one town that we wanted to visit, Sintra in Portugal. So uh, everything that was the most important thing to visit, uh, some extra signs that we wanted to visit if we had time, and what we actually visited. <laughs> you have a lot less time than you think you will have, and you're a lot more tired than you think you're going to be. So we visited the two most important things that we wanted to visit. Then these were lists that I said, okay, we could visit all of that in Lisbon, all of that. And then when I came back home, I just sort of marked in green what we actually visited. And all of the rest of the information will go into a new list for our next trip. If we ever go back, we knew I'll have the list ready for the sites that we didn't visit. Uh, these were some restaurants that were recommended to us. Didn't visit any. <laughs> you don't have time to look for recommendations and go to a restaurant that's on the other side you know, side of town. Um, so no, uh, you think you'll have a lot more time than you actually do. So this was just an extra note paper that I took that I actually needed to note down some things. As you can see, this is chaos. And now we get to the wallet part. So I had both um, euros and pounds here, coins. These uh, I had for the euros. This was for the pounds. 
This again um, was an extra one for any papers and documents and I did keep a few papers in this uh, pocket but then I just moved them to the back. And this is just some stickers that I thought, again, the plan was to document everything we do every day and make comments. And no, none of that <laughs> happened. So, and here I have a, paper, a document that I needed. This was a small uh, paper that I had that I wanted to put in the rings, but then I said I'll just put it at the back. Just um, sort of emergency numbers, hotel number, people back home in case I lose the phone um, and the planner is still with me. So um, always a good idea to do that. These were some tickets from a monument that we ended up not visiting, unfortunately. There's just no time. <laughs> and that was it. So um, that's how slimline it was. It was very easy to have it in the bag and if you need coins or uh, notes you just flip to the one that you need uh, and you can keep this open in your bag and even the zip can be open and you can just reach for the coins that you need if this stays like that in the bag. So it was very um, lightweight, uh, I enjoyed using it, I think um, I bought this on eBay quite cheaply compared to its original Firefox price. Um, I love the color. I love the leather Lockwood. If you're ever thinking or considering about purchasing a Lockwood, I'd highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, I think I found a use for it. Um, it will be a travel planner slash wallet. Um, it worked very well. I really enjoyed using it. Um, no trouble reaching out for it. Again, open open your bag, just leave that zip open so you can actually reach inside for coins without actually taking this out of the bag. Very lightweight. If you want, depending on what phone you have, this can actually go into a different pouch. You can put your phone in or in one of these pockets. I know my phone definitely fits. Uh, sorry, I can't demonstrate that because I'm uh, recording on it, but that's it. And that, that's it. ID, health insurance card, two bank uh, um, current account cards, cash, coins, your to-do lists, your packing list, uh, some extra papers for notes. At the back you keep any tickets, any um, emergency phone numbers you think you may need, just in case something happens. And that's it. So again, to compare, that is the difference between the planner and the wallet and the slimline planner, something that combines both of those. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. Um, I thought I'd do this after I've used it rather than showing it new and shiny with clean papers and um, yeah, that's it. It was uh, quite enjoyable to use. I did like it. No problems whatsoever. Very light, slimline, very lightweight. I loved it. Okay, until the next video. Bye.